Hello, I'm Victor Schauberger. In the outbirth of water we have to differentiate between two different kinds. Namely water as a carrier substance that contains predominantly negative potentialities, substances attuned to earth frequencies, or predominantly positive potentialities, substances attuned to air frequencies. The former are to be viewed as upwardly impelling geospheric instrumentalities and the latter as downwardly impelling atmospheric instrumentalities. The former refine and exalt the higher grade constituents, i.e. they serve the buildup of levitative potencies. The latter serve to cleanse the atmosphere of suspended matter, which as threshold substances still possess too little self-weight and too high a quota of levitative essences and can neither rise nor fall. It is these threshold substances that can be transformed and exalted through cycloid space curve motion. From a practical point of view, this is only possible through their co-oscillation with their respective carrier substances, be it air or water. This leads to a buildup of those substances incapable of further development, resulting in a renewed intensification of the differences in potential through the spatial separation of the different substances. The end result is an increased motive force. This explains the concept of perpetual motion in its most natural sense.